In this problem, we're told about a vector v. We're given its components in the x direction and the y direction. The x direction is 9.86, and the y direction is negative 6.40. We're asked to describe v itself, uh, boldened at the end. And we're looking for the magnitude and the direction. Now, this is actually pretty simple when we're given the components individually. But first, let's find the magnitude. So when we have a horizontal component and a vertical component, both of which are perpendicular to each other, then uh, the resultant vector, like the, the resultant vector along with its two components, can together be thought of as being like a right triangle, where V, the resultant, is the hypotenuse. So for that reason, the magnitude, uh, which I'll call V, unboldened, is we can use Pythagorean's theorem. So v would be equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared. So let's put this into our calculator. We take the square root of 9.8 squared plus negative 6.40 squared. Then we find a result of 11.70 units. We're not actually told what those units are, but I have to write units anyway because otherwise we're given a bad answer. So that's the magnitude, and the next thing we want to find is the direction. So if we think of this like an axis where uh, we've got the y direction here and the x-axis here, and the x component is positive, so the x component points somewhere this way, and the y component's negative, so points somewhere down, then the resultant vector is going to be in this direction, in the fourth quadrant below the positive x-axis. So probably the best way to represent the direction under these circumstances is to write it as an angle, which I'll call theta, an angle from the positive x-axis. So to do this, we'll take, uh, we'll, the, the typical way to do this is to say that theta is equal to the inverse tangent, or the arc tangent, of the y component, v sub y, over v sub x, the x component of the vector. So let's do that. Let's put our y component, negative 6.4 units, into the top here, and our x component, 9.8, into the bottom. And we will get, from our calculators, a value, if, if you have it set to degrees, we'll have a value of negative 33.1 degrees. So how would we describe the direction of the vector then? Well, like I said, typically we do this uh, relative to the positive x-axis. So the way I'm going to write this, in this case, is 33.1 degrees well, I'll, I'll specify below the positive x-axis. And that's how I will write it in this case. That's how I'll clarify the direction. Having a graph always helps because it tells us whether or not a value is reasonable. When you, when you perform a sinusoidal function, especially an arc tangent, then whatever angle it gives you, if it's positive, that's from the positive axis above, or if it's negative, then it's below, like below f from the bottom side of the positive axis. But either way, that's the best way we can represent the magnitude and direction of the vector. And so that is our solution to the problem. I hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you. Uh, if Everything made sense. That's great. That's lovely. I'm very happy for you. Uh, but if you've got more questions, if there are other problems you have that you'd like me to cover in future videos, you can post a request in the comments, and, I'll, and hopefully I'll see them. But alternatively, I've got a Discord server linked in the description down below. And if you join it, then you can talk in channels, and I like to encourage discussion. So I'll try to help you out there if you pop in there. But that is all for now, so I will see you later. Good night.